I will be explaining how to use GeoGebra in integral calculus. So for computing the indefinite integral and to compute the definite integral. So the first thing I'm going to do is to compute the integral of this using GeoGebra. Any time that I'm going to use an integral, I prefer to put a name to a function. For example, I compute the integral of this. I'm going to give a name to this function. Let's call it f of x. So I'm going to call it f of x. And this will be equal to, yes, maybe I need to compute later f of pi, f of evaluated in 7, or whatever. So it's good to give a name to a function. So f of x will be equal to e to the power x. Remember the circumflex key for getting the power to the power x um, plus, so I need to use the right arrow key to get outside of this exponent. So it will be plus 12x x squared, 12x squared, another exponent. So I need again the circumflex key and then to the power 2, the right arrow key to get out of this exponent, minus 6x, minus 7, plus 1 over x. The slash key for forgetting the over x. And then we have already the function. You will need to press enter. So this function is in the memory of your algebra. Now you, you can compute the derivative if you want. You can compute the integral or you can compute f evaluated in whatever number. Okay, in this case we are going to compute the integral of the function f of x. So I'm going to type integral with capital I. So integral. As soon as I type in integral, GeoGebra tells me the two functions that start with integral. One is integral and the other is integral between. This integral between will be for the definite integral. This integral is for the indefinite integral. And in this case, it's an indefinite integral. It's just an antiderivative. So it will be integral. So I'm going to type integral and open bracket. Open bracket and type the function inside the bracket. As soon as you open bracket, GeoGebra close the bracket. So you are not going to forget to do that. And I'm going to type f of x. f, open bracket, x. And press enter. GeoGebra give you the value of this indefinite integral. I compute this in another video by hand and we have obtained the same result. e to the power x, we, we have here e to the power x. The natural logarithm of the absolute value of x, we have it here, the natural lo logarithm of the absolute value of x. We have 4 x to the power 3, we have it here, minus 3x squared minus 3x squared minus 7x. The only thing that is not written here is plus the constant of integration because GeoGebra considers the, the constant of integration equal zero. So you see here at the bottom that they give you a value for the constant of integration. So that will be the antiderivative if the constant of integration is zero. If the constant of integration is different, you can move here between negative five and five. So this point here, give you an idea of what happens if the constant of integration is different than zero. If the constant of integration is 1.6, you can type here 1.6. We can see more here, 1.7, so for example. So we have the constant of integration 1.7, or what happens if the constant of integration is 3.2, or whatever number between negative 5 and 5. This is the definite integral. And this is the definite integral when constant of integration is zero. Okay, so if you are, for example, solving a problem of the textbook, you can type here plus C. Okay, in the next example, I'm gonna show you how to compute the definite integral. So in this example, I will be computing the integral from one to three of this x squared plus natural logarithm of x that I already solved it in another video, and we know that the answer is 9.96. So we have solved it by hand. But now, what to do if we are using GeoGebra? So the first thing to do is give a name to a function, and I'm going to call it the function f of x equal x squared plus natural logarithm of x. So it will be f of x equal x squared, remember the circumflex for the exponent, 
go outside of this using the, uh, the right arrow key plus the natural logarithm, natural logarithm of x. And I type always the argument of the natural logarithm in bracket. Uh, this is the function f of x and press enter. So now this function is in the memory of your algebra or the memory of your computer. If I show you the whole window of your algebra, your algebra is making the graph of this function. But we don't need it at that moment. We are just seeing what to do to compute the definite integral. Okay, to compute the definite integral, you use the command integral between. So integral with capital I, integral, and the between with capital B, without space, okay? Between. There is no way that you can make a mistake because at the bottom your algebra is telling you what to do. Open bracket, the function is f of x, and to get outside of this bracket, the arrow key, then comma to type the first value. And I noticed that the first value is one. So I'm gonna say this will be the initial value, one, and then comma, the last value, three. So it will be one, three, and the answer is 9.96250.3. I press enter. And then we give you, your algebra give you the value. Your algebra give a name to this value. This is the value A. To a value, to a function, when the answer is a function, your algebra give a name to a function, maybe G of X. And in this way, you compute the definite integral. Okay, this is my second example, and this finished this video. I hope you have found it useful. Thank you.